Okay. Goofy Comics number 24, 10 cents. Wow. I love seeing these old books in here. Whoa. So tempted to like stop right now and see if all these boxes are labeled and then do it alphabetically. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna fight my OCD. I'm gonna do these as they come. It looks like there are like several things in here, but uh, if it's based on like this one, it looks like there's multiple titles behind every so often a break. So. But uh, I'm seeing pretty, some pretty cool labels in there, so I can't wait to get to them. So let's get started. First one's up, pulled right out. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, number 159. Looks like there's a printing issue right there. Conan, all right, so 159, 161. One sixty three, great cover. 164. I remember that one. Holy cow, this is taking me back. <laughs> 166. 167. And the thing is, is that so that these startings in like the 159, I gotta believe there's another box with a bunch of stuff before 159. So hopefully, like some really early ones be cool. Uh, 167. 169, 176, 178, 179, 180, ugh, jacked up, offset spine, not sure if that shifted or, yeah, it looks like it shifted. 182, 183, 188, 25th anniversary. <clears throat> Number 92, oh, is this going back? Oh, 192, I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, it's rotated around. 192, 195, Double issue. Ugh, 199, but it's got that sticker on it. 202. 203. 206. 208. Missing the middle part of that. Heku Trilogy, 209, that Death Dealer? That's, okay, that would be pretty cool. I might have to stop and read that. <laughs> 214, some stone bunny. 216, 216. 217, 219, 220, 221, 230, two copies, 
231. 232 235 237 240 243 hmm missed out on the trilogy there from 241 and 242 <clears throat> Sticker on it, 248. 250. Very nice. Giant says size spectacular. Not in fantastic shape. Small bad groove bend there. 259. 267. 270. Was a barbarian Santa Claus for a minute. <laughs> 271. 273. 275. That's a great cover. Conan the Barbarian movie special number one. Number two. Conan the Destroyer number two, but not number one. Whoa. Hello. 1973 Conan the Barbarian number one I guess king size number one sweet okay so this is going to be giant size I guess <clears throat> giant size Conan the Barbarian number three Size annual number five, going in the barbarian annual number eight, giant size annual number ten, king of Conan number one. Well, that's pretty cool. King Conan number 13, number 19, King Conan, Conan the King number 20, so they did a title change there, huh? 33, 38, 44. Conan the Barbarian, number two. Conan, June of 96, number 11. See, I just, I, I love Conan. I think you can tell I'm a Conan fan. I love Conan. But when, when the artwork is so clean, and like shiny like it just irks me like it should be like rough sketchy and like dirty and not like they're all oiled up <laughs> Conan the Barbarian part three of three number three dang damn it Conan the Adventurer number three Number four. See, that's how you make a. That's how you make a 
Conan cover, man. Just all, all the muscle definition you want, but all shaded and darkened and muddy and that's a barbarian. Conan the Adventurer number seven. And the adventurer number eight. Number nine. Number fourteen. <clears throat> number fourteen. Conan the legend number zero. This is under Cormac, Robert I, Robert E. Howard's Cormac, Mac Art. Three of four, four of four. Pony Press, Courtney, Groomman, and the Night Things. Okay, so this is the free issue that came out on free comic book day. This is number one of four, Courtney Crumrin. Crumrin. Number two of four. Number four of four. Are you kidding me? So no number three. That's irritating. Coven, number one. So it looks like two covers. First issue. So this is Loeb and Churchill. And this is the Dynamic Forces cover. Cool. Number five. Coven, Tooth and Nail. Number one. Creature Features, Mojo Press, from 1993, don't see an issue number on it, Creatures on the Loose, number 12, well oh, that's an old one, 15 cents, number 13, number 14, Number 15. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. Number 20. Number 20 in much better condition. Creatures on the Loose featuring Thongor, Warrior of Lost Lemuria, number 22. So it looks like it went through a title change. Thongor, number 23. Another issue. Number 24. Seven. Another copy of twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. There, so this is twenty eight. Image creeps number one. 
DC Crimson of Issue, Crimson Avenger, four issue miniseries number one. And that's that. Crimson Nun, issue one of four. Crimson Nun, number two. That's actually pretty cool looking. Crimson Plague from Image, number one. Crimson Plague, number two. George Pettis, huh? Nice. Wizard exclusive cross gen primer. Cross gen sampler. And cross gen comics. Two copies. I don't see any issue number or price or date on it. Wizard cross gen. Supplement to the Wizard Magazine. I miss Wizard Magazine. That was a cool magazine. Cross Gen Chronicles number one. Why well, they hyped that one, didn't they? Cross Gen Chronicles number two. Cross Gen Chronicles number three. Cross Gen Chronicles number four. And number seven. All right, the crow, number zero. The crow, one of three. Oh, is that the original? Flesh and blood. Top dollar kitchen sink. Crow number two. Crow City of Angels number one. That looks like it's the movie adaptation. Kill the, the Crow Razor, Kill the Pain number two. Man, just missing all these little full runs. The Crow Waking Nightmares number three. Mm. Crux number one from Cross Gen. Crux number two. Mark Wade did this, huh? Frank DeMarla. Steve Epting. Nice. Number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Got an entire run here. That's awesome. Crux number seven. Crux number eight. These are all in freaking near mint condition too. They actually took care of these. Number nine. Number ten. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Also oh, changed to Chuck Dixon there. Yeah, so Chuck Dixon started writing after episode 13. After 12 on 13. 14. Never, never heard of this. Never really got into this, but the covers are really cool. Number 15. Number 16. That's an awesome cover. Seventeen. Crux number 18. Number 
19, really cool cover. Twenty. Twenty-one. Key issue. Crux twenty-two. So it's a key issue. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. I'm really interested in this book now, <laughs> man. The covers are awesome. What was that? Twenty-four. Yep. And then it skips to twenty-eight. Thanks. So you got an entire run of one to twenty-four. And then twenty-eight. CSI crime invest crime scene investigation free comic book. So this is from. Austin, Texas. Oh, Cyber Blade, Cyber Force Origins, Cyblade number one. Sylvester, I love his artwork. Alan just does hair like nobody else. Cinder number two from Immortel Studios. Liar Comics Cinder Annual Number One. Guest starring Grisette. Immortel Studios. Never heard of them. Wow, pretty cool. I hate that uh, 25, 26, and 27 of Crux weren't there, but that's still an awesome run. I think if you ever wanted to jump into that, that's a great way to do it. The label said Dagar, Dagar, D-A-G-A-R. Oh, pull it up and it's a gold key. Brand new, Tales of Swords and Sorcery, Dagar the Invincible, number 15. Western Publishing Company. This is January. Dagar the Invincible. And now I don't even have a month up here, so... Dagar. I wonder if so. I don't know if these like numbers up here to 90279 210, and then it goes to 301, but then it goes to 304, 307. So I'm not sure, it just skips around a lot. 407. Goes from 15 to 20 cents here. 410 goes to 25 cents. Really wish they would have uh, numbered these. Probably numbered on the inside or on the back or something. I don't know. 504. Five ten. Come on, gold key. Get with it, man. 507, 604. I just don't, I have no idea what that code means. So that may be going like across all their titles and like they number each one. So it could be the Agar 604 and then Twilight Zone is 605 and UFO is 607 and, or 606 and then the Agar 607. I don't know. Either that or he's, Skipping issues in between. Yeah, well, there's some old issues, man. And if that started in 72, <clears throat> that means these things are already 50 years old. So here it changes over to Whitman. Goes to 60 cents. It looks like number 19. And then a spotlight gold key from Whitman, but no number. Just 
very poor accounting here. Daredevil. 209. Danger Unlimited from Dark Horse. Number four. So the little wise guy is starring in Daredevil, number 114, October 10 cents. I mean, that cover's beat, but. That's an old one there. Daredevil 117. Is that signed? Oh, second. Chris Claremont. So this is from 1974. Gerber, Brown, Coletta. I don't see anything named Jessup, but yeah, it might just be markings of some random person. It's a shame. Looks like it's got, it's, it's got a Black Widow in it. It's got Owl in it. Old issue. Daredevil, king size special number two. Giant size Daredevil number one. Dark Child number five. Dark Child zero. Image homage, homage, homage. Number four, number five, number one. Oh, Dark Child, the Legacy. Number one, Dark Child, the Legacy. Number two, Dark Child. Swimsuit Illustrated, number one. Dark Child Remastered, number one. I'm not impressed by that artwork. Dark Child The Diary, number one. Dark Child Redemption, number one. So if you're a fan of Dark Child, there's a ton of Dark Childs there. Dark, oh, Dark Crystal number one with a stupid sticker on it. Dark Crystal number two. Sticker ripped off of it. Dark Days from IDW number one. Dark Days number two. Dark Days, number three. Dark Days, number four. Dark Days, number five. Dark Days, number 606. So they got the entire limited series run in here. Dark Ones. Can you read that? Can you read that? I can't. B R Oh, Third Eye 3 R D E Y E Third Eye. Okay. Serious Third Eye Volume 2 Dark. Wow. Okay. Bro, if I can't even read what you're trying to spell, like you need to go back and check your font. Whitman Dark Shadows. Oh, nice. That's Oh, thank goodness those stickers are on the outside. Equipment Dark Shadows, nice. Innovation Dark Shadows, number one. And again. And again. Number two. That's on the that's on the book. Number three. Oh, there's a clean one. 
Number three. Sticker. Clean. Number four. Sticker. So this is book two, number one, but it's got a sticker on it. Dark Shadows, book two, number two, sticker, clean. Number three. Number four. Dark Side from Maximum Press, Rob Leefield. You can tell, I mean, the second I saw her, I could tell it was Leapfield. Apple Comics, Dark Fantasy, number one. Dark Light Prelude, number 303. All right, here's Dark Water, The Pirates of Dark Water, part one. That was six part, number one. Number two, number three, number three again, number four, number five, five again, and six. Number eight. Okay. Dark wood from air cell. Number three of a five. Genesis edition. Dawn. Dawn. Looks like a whisper. All right. Crypt of Dawn. Number volume three. Dawn. Three tiers. Number two. Dawn, three tiers, one of six. Oh. Possibly, I guess, maybe. Free comic book day. Dead at 17 from Viper. Deity, number one from Hyperworks. Deity number two. Number two with a different cover. Four. Deity five. Deity six. Six with an alt cover. Deity Zero, Director's Cut Deity One, Special Preview Edition of Deity, Deity Number One, Deity Number One, Okay, the darkness and the light. I think that's what the, uh, the alternate covers for the number one. And then here's number two. Deity number three. Two issues. Deity number four. And deity number five. Okay, that's the end of the first box. So, some pretty crazy stuff in there. A lot of Conan, Deity, the Crow was in there, that Dagar, the old 1972 Gold Key, and some like smaller projects in there. So, some pretty interesting stuff. So, let's grab another box and see what else we can find.
All right, let's see here. Well, this must be the next box because it starts with Deity. So we got Deity, Deity, number one, Revelations. Deity, Revelations, number one, alt cover. And again, Deity Revelations number two, three, three, Deity Revelations number four, number four alt cover, Cat's Eye number one. Cat's eye number two. Okay, so this is part of deity. Cat's eye, deity two. Cat's eye number three. Was that in the first? Oh, it is. I didn't even see that up there. So I guess Cat's eye, whoever she is, got her own series. Number four. Uh, Pretty sure it's part of Deity because I think I've seen the Cosmic Cat Activity Book number one. Deity Collected Edition Volume Two. Holy cow, it's a heavy book. Oh, it's a, okay, so that's a uh, graphic novel. Delta Wave number one from Miller Publishing Company. Never heard of it. Demon Skin, Peregrine Basset, Recombination, Reconciliation. So this is from Red World Comics, number one of one. One shot in association with muscles and guns. Okay, so if you're a fan of that stuff we saw in the previous episode, here we go again. R.A. Salvatore's Demon Wars, Eye for an Eye, issue one of five from 2003, CGE, <clears throat> or no, I'm sorry, not CGE, Code 6 comics. I'm not familiar with his Demon War stuff. I've read a lot of Salvatore, all of his Forgotten, uh, not Forgotten Realms, but his uh, Driss Dorden and Icewind Dale and all those books. I remember reading, and even the... Um, Corona series. But I'm not familiar with Demon Wars. It seems, it seems like I've seen something about it, but I'm just not familiar with it. So, And unfortunately, that's the only issue there is. 105, and that's how you get. Uh, Richard Corbin's Den. Number two. Fantagor Press. Fantor Press. Fantasy Press. Fantasur Pro. I, I can't even read what that says up there. Can you see it? Fanta. Fantaber? Fanta. Fanta. Something press. Whatever. Number two. Still can't read it. Number three. In color. Number five. Number seven. Number 10. Uh, is that just a card or mini comic book? History Channel issue number one, Josh Bernstein and the Search for Shangri-La. There's a number one collectible for you. Dirty Pair number two of four from Eclipse. Dirty Pair number one of five. Book three, A Plague of Angels. Number two of five, Plague of Angels. Three of five, Plague of Angels. Number four. And number five, so they got the whole run from book three of Plague of Angels. Uh, number one of five, Dirty Pair Two. Number two of five, two, two issues.
So this is one of five for Dirty Pair 2. So I'm guessing that's an alt cover. Okay. Take your word for it. Number five of five. Number four of five. No, four of four. Who is labeling these things? What? Five of five, four of four, one of five. Two of five. And then Disney Primer for Marvel Comics. Doll Man. Number 17. 12 cents. That doll man. That looks like it's missing its cover or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's definitely missing the cover. Gold key. We're back to gold key. All right, so we got the cult files of Dr. Spectre. Again, no number on it, just the uh, 406 for golden key, for gold key. 410. Five oh four. All these got that black mark across it. So stupid. I don't know why people do that. Five oh six. Six oh four. Seven oh two. Five oh five. Hey, Doctor Who, number 58 from Marvel. I forgot that uh, Marvel actually did Doctor Who. 59. 60. 6 number 7 dolls from image number 2 dominion number 1 of 6 from eclipse dominion number 2 of 6 All right, this is Doomsday, number one, from Charlton Comics. Wow. Doomsday, number two. Doomsday, oh, it's Doomsday plus one. Okay, number three. Number five. Number seven. It looks like number seven is a copy of number one. This one has the UK 12P on it. Which I don't see on this one. So it must be a overseas print. It is a little bit different. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Also a copy of like number three or four back there. So they recycled these covers. 
number 12. Dragon Slayer, number one. Get out. I love that movie. That's pretty cool. Dunwich, part three of three. Phosphorescent Comics, never heard of that. Edge of Chaos, number two. PC for the new era in comics. Pretty bold. And number three. Eh. Number seven. Ten cents, man. This is an old Charlton publication. El Casador from Cross Gen, number one. Chuck Dixon. Steve Epting, nice. Number six, great cover, love that. Electra Saga, number one. Electra Saga, number two. It's awesome. Number three. Number four. Electro movie adaptation. Electra number one from November ninety six. Elfheim number one from Nightwind Enterprises. Elfheim number two. That's kind of a Goofy looking character. Elfin Romance, number one from Mount Wilson. Oh, they got some crazy stuff in here. Elf Lord, number two. Elf Lord, number one. This is from Air Cell, 1986. Number two again. Number one again. Oh, so we got. That looks like alternate alt covers. Nice. Two copies. Really, really good condition, too. Now for number three. Two copies. Now for number four. Two copies. It's got doubled up. Number five. Number six. Not familiar with that title, but it looks like it got some play. So this is volume two, number two. Elf Lord. Two copies. This is volume two, number three. Volume two, number four. Volume two, number nine. Now floor number two. Oh, Ford Chronicles, 10-year celebration, rare and out of print material. Eight of 12. Nice. I don't know this Elf, Elf Lord cat, but apparently he was around for a while. Air Cell seemed to get pretty good play out of it. I'm really not familiar with Air Cell at all. So if any of you guys know much about Elf Lord, please drop me a comment below and let me know. Because uh, I really don't know anything about Elf Lord at all. My sister is not a comic book geek at all. Zip, zero, zilch. My sister does not do comic books. 
She never appreciated them the way I did, but there was one she fell in love with, and it was this one. She loved ElfQuest, and she loved the original ElfQuest. So, and they have got like an entire rack here. I got four stacks of these books. So they've got quite a collection. If she saw this right now, she'd just freak out. So Wendy and Richard Penny, before they were at Marvel, they were an independent uh, comic book. And I think Marvel just kind of reprinted their stuff. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what they have in these stacks here. So from 1980, August 85, this is Elf Quest number one. Two. And I believe Marvel colorized them. The originals were black and white, if I recall correctly. Wow, well, like four copies of number two there. Number three, and it has a sticker on it. Come on, man. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number seven again. Number nine. Number ten. Eleven. Again, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Four, so there's a break in the run there. So they got one through 22, no 23, and then they got 24, 25, 26, 27, no 28, so this is 29. 30. I remember that wolf armor. <laughs> and I was like, why are elves wearing plate armor? This would never fly in D&D, man. <laughs> 31. 32. Okay. Apple Comics. Number one. Elf Quest, Siege of Blue Mountain, part woven and part one of an eight part fantasy adventure. Number two. So this is Apple Comics and Warp Graphics together. Number three. Number seven. Okay, then it skips over here to number four, August 1996. I don't see a publisher on here. Number five. Number six. Number seven. There's some thick books. Number nine, number ten, number eleven. Okay, 
okay, so this is warp graphics. Okay, I just I did I read that incorrectly earlier. Okay, so this is warp graphics. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, these must have been some, these are definitely huge issues. I mean, these are $4.95 back from 1997, so they ain't cheap ones. 17. And then skipping all the way to 32. So this is ElfQuest Shards. Number two from Warp Graphics. Number three. Number 10. Number one, Elf Quest Two Spear, part one of five. Uh, Blood of Ten Chiefs, number one. Blood of Chen Chiefs, number two. Number three. Number four. Number seven. Now in full color, Elf Quest Hidden Years, number two. Number four. Number 16. Man, I do not recall. These obviously were around for a while, and I do not recall seeing any of these past Marvel. Apparently, Warp had them hidden somewhere. Number 20. Holiday special, number nine and a half. By Peeny and Byrne. John Byrne, really? Jink, number one. Jink number three, also from Warp Graphics. ElfQuest Jink number nine. ElfQuest third rig issue. ElfQuest Metamorphosis one. ElfQuest one. Warp one. That's King, Kings of the Broken Wheel. Kings of the Broken Wheel, number one, Elf Quest. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Uh, so this is, oh, Siege of Blue Mountain, we just, we had that one earlier. So this is number one, number four. Oh, this is the ones that we're missing. Five. Elf Quest Hidden Years number one. This is, oh man, it's all, ah, now it's messing with my OCD. New Blood Summer Special number one. World Pool number one. Wave Dancers, number two. Number three. Never even heard of these cats. Number four. Number five. Number six. That webbing looks very weird. Summer Special 2001, number one. The Rebels, number two. The Rebels, number five. Elf Quest, The Rebels, number six. That's weird. 
number 10. Elf Quest Summer Special number 2. 25th Anniversary Elf Quest. DC. Hmm. Didn't know DC got into it too. Giant Size First Issue Warp Graphics Annual number 1. Elf Warrior number 1. Not sure. That looks independent. I don't see a studio on there. E-Man. All new E-Man number 10 from Charlton Comics. Number 2 from First Comics. Number 15. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. 20. 21. 22. Captain Koala. 23, 23 again, 24, 25, the original E-Man number one, number three, number four, Number five, five without a bag and back. Nineteen eighty six. Number six. Number seven. All new first issue, Comico E Man number one. Uh, also, Comico E Man number one. Three issue collective series. So, I don't know if that's an alt printing. Number two. And number three, three, three issue collector series. And first comic, he's back number one, premier issue. Number two. Number three, that looks familiar. Number four. Five with a stupid sticker on it. Oh, a clean one, number five. Psycho Babbler. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10. Number 10. Number 11. Number 12. So I got the entire run here. Very nice. 13. 14. With a very bad offset cut. 18, what was that, 15? 
So I've got one through one through fourteen, and then it skips to eighteen. Which I saw these earlier, so I guess these are just duplicates. Twenty-two. All right, London Night Studios. Everett Barstow's Embrace. Number one. Escape of the Living Dead. Number one from Avatar. Escape of the Living Dead, number four. Also number four, so that's an alt cover. Number five. EVO, Mark Silvestri, David Wall, preview edition. End game number three of three. All right, so that's it for that box. Not bad. Um, some pretty big runs of E-Man, big runs of uh, Elf Quest, a lot of Elf Quest in there. I think one through 23. In fact, first 33, 32 issues of Elf Quest, missing only two. So that's pretty good. Um, old Dr. Spectre. Um, pretty crazy stuff in there man so one more box let's see what's got still hanging out for us waiting to be seen all right third box oh this could be really interesting evangeline all right third box let's get this party started evangeline by charles and dixon Number one, Evangeline Guns of Mars, Hate Boat, okay, so that's number one. Comico number two. Got it written real tiny down here. First comics, first issue of Angeline, May number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven. These are really fantastic shape too. Number eight. Her eyes are kind of jacked up. <laughs> Number nine. Number ten. What is that outfit? What? Okay. Image. Exposure. Seeing a number on it anywhere. Fantastic Adventures number 12. Fantastic Adventures number 18. Wow, these are really old. Not sure who printed these. They're 12 cents. Seal of Super Comics quality. Fantastic Four, number 333, with a sticker on it. Thanks a lot. Michael Turner's Fathom, number one. Nice. I, I used to have this one. Collected Editions, number two. Fathom. Number four with a sticker. Number six. Number seven, number nine, 
Number 10 with a sticker. Number 14. Interesting. Fathom was pretty good. I only hung in for a few issues of that. Really well drawn series. Okay, this is an old one. Fight Comics, number 60. February, 10 cents, Fiction House Magazines. Wow. Fighting American. Giant Harvey, Harvey Comics. Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. 25 cents October number one. This is a thick issue too. That is, man, that's like that's like really a thick issue. I mean, that's crazy. Fighting American number one. Is that awesome? I don't, is that the name of the Jeff Loeb? We get a comic craft. Oh, that's the name of the. They're in the, their studio, but Lee Field on there. Number two. Number four. This is mini series. No, this is the mini series right here. Number one again. Number three. Tell you what, man, when Lee Field's on, he's on, but when he's off, he's off. At least he drew some feet there. <laughs> the American from Dark Horse Comics, number one. Lost in America, number one of four. American Woman from Barrage Studios, number one. That is a busy, busy outfit. Dang. Untold Origin of Femme Force. AC's Fighting Female Team Femme Force number two. Number three. Uh, sticker on it, number six. I've never heard of this group. AC, AC Comics, I don't even know them. At first I thought that was Action Comics, but I do not recognize this at all. Number 15, Femme Force number 16. Number 17. Tell you what, whoever collected these, like, they found some very strange stuff, man. And I'm just, some of these studios I've never heard of. A lot of these books I've never heard of. Femme Force number 18. 21. That's a, no. 22. Twenty-three. Her name is Rad. Must be. <laughs> 31. 35. 35 again. 36. 37. Thirty-eight, forty-two. I mean, forty-two issues. That means this comic book was around for at least four years. Fifty-one. I mean, I, I've never heard of it. I don't think none of. This, I mean, none of this is sparking a clue for me at all. Fifty-one. 
55. Fifty-eight, Jet Girl, Kiss, Kitten, Miss Mask, and Yankee Girl. Extra, The Origin of Microman. Number seventy, Miss Victory, Night Vale, Sin, She Cat, and Stardust. Okay. Ninety-six. Really? Femforce Night of the Demon one shot. Femforce up close number two. Number four. Part one and three Stardust. 65. So, did she have her own series for 65 issues? Holy cow. AC Fem First Good Girl Art Quarterly, Fall 91. Bro, you cannot twist like that. Your body cannot. Physically. Good Girl Art Quarterly number 10. The first, number seven. First wave. Based on the TV show. I don't have a number on here. Andromeda Flare number one Flare number two number ten. If you're familiar with that Fem Force, I guess you just really got thrilled about seeing that, but I've never heard of them so. Again, if you know anything, please drop me a comment. I'd love to know. If you guys have seen anything in here that I'm just like not recognizing or not getting, drop me a comment down below. Let me know because I'd love to know about some of this stuff because I'm running across some, some old school comic books and some really independent comic books and some unknown comic books. And it's really cool, but like... I, 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 like, I need the knowledge to go with it. Really, I'm more of a Marvel guy. I grew up in Marvel and a little bit of DC, uh, epic and a little bit of image. Um, so some of this stuff is just going right by me unless it's like a really well-known book. So if you've got any information, please don't hesitate to let me drop some knowledge on me. Whoa, Flash, Flash Gordon? Old school Flash Gordon stuff. Holy cow. So this is from King Comics, January 3rd, 12 cents. Number three, wow. Wow, I got, hold on, I gotta check and see what the age on this is. Cause I do not recognize King Comics at all. Nineteen sixty seven King Features Syndicate. Wow. Okay. So I know King Feature Syndicate. I had no idea they actually had a comic book line. Fifty five year old book. Really fifty fifty six year old book. Really pretty good condition for its age. Number five. Number five again. Really good condition. Number six. Number 11. Jumped up to 15 cents. Somebody's mom went ballistic over that. Flash Gordon from Whitman, number 28. 40 cents. Mark three, dad done it. Quit marking on my covers, man. Carlton Comics, number 13, Flash Gordon. Number 
number 16. Flash Gordon from DC, number one. Number two with a sticker on it. Number two without a sticker on it. Part of a nine part series. Number three. Number four. Number five with a sticker. Number five without a sticker. It's <laughs> just crazy. Number six with a sticker. Number six without a sticker. Yay! Number seven, clean. Wow, double issues on all of them. Number eight, clean. Number nine. So we got the whole nine issue run. Very nice. Um, Harvey Comics movie adaptation in 3D. The Flintstones. <laughs> That's crazy. When did that come out? Oh, like 92, 93, somewhere in there. I wonder if the glasses are enclosed. That'd be cool. Flying Saucers by Dell. 12 cents. I had no idea Dell used to be in the comic book business. It's gotta be around like 1967 as well, I guess. What is that? Did you see a number on that? All right, I gotta open this one. I am not familiar with Dell Comics at all. Flying Saucers number one, April 1967. Nice. It's just fascinating, man. I love seeing like how the artwork changes. Weird how they don't have any words in their balloon. I guess you can't understand them. Wow, that's really cool. 56 year old book. This one's from July. This one was, so this was issue number one from April. This one's from July. So I guess maybe number three or something, unless it was bi-monthly. October. Two copies of that one. Adventures of the Fly from the Archie Adventure series, 12 cents. It's crazy. I'm assuming all these are somewhere around like 1967. This one's from November, that was July. No, no year, I'm assuming 67, somewhere around there. This one's July, so 68. Fly Man. Mighty Comics Group, number 38. Archie Adventure Series, number six, The Fly. Red Circle Comics Group. Man, this thing is just jumping all over the place, isn't it? Impact Comics, number one, The Fly. So if you're a fan of The Fly, like, holy cow, I'm holding on you. Number two. Number three, again, number four, number five, number six, number 
number seven, number eight, Day of the Dolphus. <laughs> Number nine. Number nine again. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16. Annual number one. So, wow, a whole run from one to 16, and then the annual number one. Innovation for Bidden Planet number one. The official adaptation of the classic motion picture. Wasn't that motion picture in like 1955 or something? This is a 250 price tag, so it has to be like 2000s. Crazy. That's funny. Number two. Number three. Forbidden Planets, America's Comet Group. America Comet ACG, number 93, Forbidden Worlds. 10 cents. Then it goes to 12 cents, so that must be like right at 66 or so, 65. Forbidden Worlds number 107. Number 120. Number 121. Number 124 with a sticker on the outside. Oh, it's on the outside, so it's good. Number 135. Number 139. So this is monthly and bi-monthly, I guess. So 139, 40, 41, 42, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, so it's like bi-monthly. Wow. So number 142. DC Masterwork Series of Great Comic Book Artists Number One, Spring of '83, Frank Frazetta, Shining Knight, Foxfire from Nightwind Enterprises, Number One, Foxfire from Malibu Comics, Number One. And for that uh, shiny night again, number two. All right, let's see here. Universal Monsters Frankenstein. I don't have a date or number or a, assuming Universal printed it, maybe. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, number two of four. Yeah, that's the. Uh, Kenneth Brennan adaptation. Tony Daniels F5 from Image, number one. Number two. Uh, Furlough, number 107 from Radio Comics. F5, number four. 
Gen 13, number four. Yeah, I wish you had the first ones of that. Number nine. Zero. I love it when they do that. Number one, Jim Lee, Brendan Choi, Scott Campbell. Campbell. I remember collecting that when it first came out. Number three, with Pitt. Number two, so I guess that one should be here. And 13 Bravo with bone, alt cover, nice. I would love to have seen a full run of Gen 13, that would have been cool. Get Smart from Dell. Wow. So yeah, that's late 60s. September, somebody wrote two on there. So I guess this is issue number two. Yep, somebody wrote a three on here. Jeez. I guess 55 years ago, they just didn't know any better. Ghost Breakers, 10 cents, December 1948. Holy cow. Got a rip in there. Spine's all busted up, but otherwise it's not really not too bad. Still pretty nice. 48. Wow. So this is Ghost Manor. Number 47 from Charlton. Ghost Stories from Dell. Ghost stories again. I don't have them numbered, so. Ah, somebody wrote their names on there. Ghosts of Dr. Graves. CDC. Not sure who CDC is. Oh, Charlton Comics, okay. I don't know where the D comes in, but <clears throat> so this is number four. Does this one have a number? That might be number one, but there's no date on it at all, so I'm not sure. But both 12 cents, and that one's in. July and this one's in November is number four, so it might be a bi monthly. Yeah, January number five, so it's a bi monthly. So that was, yeah, so that was number one. Seventeen. The Ghost of Dr. Graves, number 24. Number 25. All new stories and art. You think they'd have that every month. <laughs> Number 27. Ghostly Tales from the Haunted House. Number 78. Stickers on the outside. Good. 15 cents. So that's probably like early 70s. Number 90. Number 139. Glory from image number zero. And glory number one. 
Also glory number one, so I got two copies. Looks like an alt cover. Also number one by Lee Field, I'm assuming that's glory. Possibly another alt cover. Lee Field alt cover. With the back breaking spine. Glory number two. Glory number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Two copies. Number seven. Two copies. Eight. Okay. <laughs> Number ten. Oh, with uh, Angela. Number eleven. Double size first anniversary spectacular. Number twelve. Sorry, 17. Leaf field cover. Okay, several copies of that. 18. Christmas special number one. So that was a full run from one to 22, I think, with only number eight missing. That's pretty cool. Evangeline and Glory swimsuit issue number one. Glory and Friends bikini fest number one. Ah, the 90s. Glory and Friends lingerie special number one. Alt cover. Evangeline and Glory number one. Chromium cover. Angela and Glory number one. With a sticker on it, you idiots. Okay, there's a clean one. Number one. Alt cover, I guess. Right. Yep. This one's Park and Parsons. That was Leafield. Glory and Celestine. Number one. Glory and Celestine. Number three. The Goddessy. Number one. Alt cover. I guess that was the alt cover for uh, the Goddessy. Evangeline Glory number one. Did you really? Yep, there's a sticker on that one. Extreme Sacrifice. So this is Greed featuring Glory number 16. 
Brigade number 19 with Troll. Okay. Goofy Comics number 10. No, I'm sorry. Number 24, 10 cents. I love seeing these old books in here. Whoa. Green Hornet. 10 cents. Number 47 from Harvey Comics. Green Hornet from Now Comics, number one. Number two. Number three, with a sticker. Number nine. Copy. Number ten. Green Hornet number 11, copy, copy, Green Hornet number 12, copy with a sticker, number 13, number 14 with a sticker, I love seeing Kato on there, that's cool. Uh, Green Hornet number one. With a sticker, are you? <sighs> number two with a sticker. Number three with a sticker. Number three clean. Number four with a sticker. Number four clean. Number five. Number five with a sticker. Number six. Number seven. All right, so three boxes down, 22 to go, um, or 23 to go, something like that. But some pretty crazy stuff in here. A whole run of glory. Uh, if you're an early image fan, she was a big knock over there. Um, the Green Hornet, that early Green Hornet is crazy. Early, get smart. Um, the Forbidden Worlds, Flash Gordon, just. Tell you what, man, for this episode, that's crazy unboxing. That's, that's three crazy boxes. I might have to go back to just two boxes because three boxes is a lot. <laughs> and just do two. But we'll do it again. So do me a favor, hit that like button. And uh, hit subscribe if you're not already. And if you know anything about these comics that we ran across and there's some knowledge you'd like to drop on to me, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you got to say about it. In the meantime, y'all be good, and I'll see you next time.